I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to create this lovely little heart design. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. Alright, so we're going to create a lovely little heart artwork. So we're going to begin by drawing some big hearts. So we're going to start off with drawing a big curvy line up, around and down, up, around and down. Okay, up, around and down. And maybe one more, wherever you want. Okay, so now we're going to go around the outside of all those hearts and we're going to add a thicker border. I'm going to thicken it up, make it have some contrast, tidy up her lines, make it bold and beautiful. And anywhere they connect, we're just gonna connect them so it becomes one singular shape. in each heart we're going to draw a curving line on either side for some eyes and then we can connect the bottoms with a straight or slightly curved line next we're going to add pupils now wherever you add a pupil in the eyes that's the direction your heart's going to look. And we're going to leave a little bit of white for the shine of light. So I'm going to put them in different spots. So you can see that wherever I place them, that's going to change where the heart is looking. So these are at the bottom. So it looks like it's looking down. This looks like it's looking that way. And maybe I'm going to have this one looking the opposite direction. between the eyes you're going to give them three different kinds of mouths. I'm going to give a happy face here. This one I'm going to draw a straight line and connect with a letter U and add a lowercase letter M on the bottom and then color the dark of the mouth leaving just the M blank. And then I'm just going to have a slightly curving mouth on this one and its tongue sticking up. So you got three hearts. All right, and once you're done, you can grab your choice of colors and color in all your lovely heart friends. Make them fun. They don't need to be red and pink always. They can be yellow and blue. Whatever fun hearts you want to do. Thank you. 
And once you're done, your lovely little heart design is done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons. First place to start is the Ms. Artastic blog. Here it's kind of like a hub for all things Ms. Artastic. You're gonna find links to the podcast where you can find my show notes and listen, um, or you can find the podcast on your favorite podcast player. Just search Ms. Artastic. You're gonna find teaching strategies and resources, free printables, art lessons for kids from the elements of art, principle, principles of design, seasonal art lesson ideas, and holiday art lesson ideas, some of the more popular holidays. But you can find so much more. So it gives you a great place to start. You can find some free lessons by clicking the number one button. And then you can learn a bit about me and find all my blog posts that cover things from back to school, advice for new art teachers, um, talking about the principles of design and how to teach them, tips for teaching visual art to kids, and so much more. Lots of freebies to discover, and this is the Ms. Artastic blog, so make sure you go to MsArtastic.com as this is your first place to start on your Ms. Artastic journey. The next place to go to is the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store. You can search Ms. Artastic in the search bar up at the top, and then you can find my store and my lovely gold cat logo here. And this is a great place to start to find amazing art resources. As you can see, there is over 800 different resources to discover. Um, and over here, we have our custom categories. So if you don't want to use the search bar, which you could totally search my store over here. But if you don't want to, or if it's a little bit too complicated, you can always find different custom categories to get some inspiration for things you might want to find, like art sub resources, my artivity books that I've created, artists and art history, back to school, elements of art, directed drawing, principles of design, our world, primary art lessons, my roll and draw series, oh yeah, social emotional learning, and of course all of the holidays are in here from Halloween to Earth Day, end of year Easter, St. Patrick's Day spring, and so much more. Um, some of the cool things you might find are elements of art workbooks, I got principles of design workbooks, and so much art history guys. I have gone to town this year and created a lot of art history so you'll find art history workbooks. Um, there's a couple, there's a few different ones. This one is um, modern art history. You'll find Gustav Klimt, um, Georges Seurat, we'll have Alma Woodsy Thomas, Emily Carr, and so much more. In the first one there is artists such as Frida Kahlo, Georgia O'Keeffe, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Salvador Dali, um, and then I also have Western art history from 1900s to 1990s. So this is a modern art history workbook that goes through all the different modern art history movements from data to surrealism to abstract expressionism to early 20th century art. And I also have a art history, history of Western art, um, prehistoric to 1990s. So from ancient Greece to um, to Egyptian art, uh, romanticism, all of that you will find in prehistoric to 1990s, um, but all designed for kids. So you can check it out. I have different levels, primary um, levels through to middle school of all my different resources. You'll find them at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store. Again, go to Ms. Artastic on TPT. And finally, if you are somebody who wants to dive deep into art and you need a bigger solution. So maybe not just a single solution where you have just a couple of resources, but maybe you need something bigger, a full program that's going to guide you through planning an entire year, provide all the resources for doing that, all the year long plans, all the lesson plan templates, but then also teach you how to plan the year from your back to school to your first week, um, through classroom management and assessment, um, all the way through planning your entire year till the end of the year, setting yourself up with a year A and a year B so you have a rotating curriculum, so you're planning, you're spending less time planning and more time on things you love, like your passions, your family, your fur babies, whatever it might be, um, then you need to check out the Artastic Collective art curriculum. It is my art curriculum designed for art educators. So not only am I going to give you my 
three-phase proven process for planning an entire year in my art teacher growth course. I'm also going to give you all the resources for the planning part, but also all the lessons as well, whether it's community builders, first week activities, when you're done, um, everything will be included. And as bonuses, you're going to get monthly art teacher challenges and you're going to get a community form that's for all the members of the Artastic Collective to talk on and collaborate together with. And then also I'll be there and you'll get a direct line to me. I will help you anytime you need my support. So this is artasticcollective.com and here you're going to find again my art curriculum and other programs for our educators. You can learn about me here. But my friend, this is where you're going to transform. And you can learn more by going to uh, the art curriculum area and there I will walk you through. Enrollment opens every August and January of every year. It is the ultimate art curriculum for our educators. And I want to help you through that process of planning. I'm going to make sure that I provide you with all the resources that you need to become the best educator that you can be. And if it's not August or January, then unfortunately you can't join, but you can always get on the wait list and that way you can get the art curriculum that you need to be confident and fully planned without the stress. It is designed for educators and it's going to, again, help you go from stressed and overwhelmed to calm, happy, and fully planned. So make sure you go to artasticcollective.com right now. Get on the wait list if you are needing a full art curriculum to solve your planning needs. And I will see you next time.